What's going on, smart people? You know, most of the people that watch my videos are incoming freshmen. You, you think you like physics, you want to major in it, you think you might want to do research at the end, you want to be able to solve a problem by yourself, maybe even choose the problem too. And in today's video, I want to talk about how long it takes to get to that point. And as you can probably tell by the title of this video, it takes a while. So let's get started. So for a PhD program, assuming you're not already coming in with a master's degree, those programs in the US take on average about five to six years to complete. And at the end of that PhD, you are officially a world expert on that topic. Very few people will know as much about that topic as you do. And this is because you will have researched something very, very specific. You have this vast expanse of human knowledge. And then what you do with your PhD is you just increase the bubble in one direction just a little bit. But after graduating with your PhD, you still won't have that much experience with doing things like applying for your own grants or planning research projects or managing students by yourself. And that's where postdoc positions come in. Now, I'm going to be bringing up most of my information from this Institute of Physics article that I will link in the description so you can read it for yourself. But they have a great explanation of sort of what a postdoc actually is. And I'm going to read it here. So it says, what do you call someone with more skills than an apprentice, but not enough to be a master? Europe's medieval guides recognized such people as journeymen, skilled workers paid by the day, who traveled between masters, gaining experience needed to set up their own workshops. Modern academia uses another name, postdoctoral researchers. Now, as it implies there, if you have a postdoc position, you'll be working with a mentor and you'll be doing research together. And these positions typically range between one and three years. But the kicker is that you usually have to do quite a few of these before securing a full-time faculty position. The Institute of Physics conducted a survey in 2000 that showed that almost a third of astronomers, astrophysicists, and particle physicists spend more than seven years doing these non-permanent positions. So let's think about that for a second. Let's say you go into a PhD program immediately after graduating with your bachelor's degree. So let's, let's say six years of a PhD program plus maybe seven years of doing postdoc positions. That's 13 years of your life after graduating with your bachelor's so if you graduate at 21 years old, you're not getting a full-time faculty position until 34. Now granted, for the PhD, you'll more or less be in one spot the entire time, but these postdocs can shift you around anywhere. For example, my supervisor for my research internship spent one of his postdocs in Amsterdam. Keep in mind that the time spent doing these postdoc positions can vary depending on what your specialty is. So when I said a third, that was for the astronomy, astrophysics, and particle physicists. IOP specifies that only 15% of other subdisciplines spent over seven years doing these postdocs. The article does not specify if this is 15% of all other subdisciplines or just a select few from the lower bound. Now since we're talking about postdoc positions, I might as well bring up salaries. Now this article cites the median salary for postdocs to be around $38,000 a year at a median 51 hour work week. Now this comes out to about $14.30 an hour. So there's that. But on top of this video giving you an idea of how long it takes to reach your career in physics research, I hope this also provides a better picture of the path that you might be taking if you choose to go the research track. But like I said, I'll leave a link to this article that I've been referencing in the description below. I think you should check it out. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful, and I'll see you guys there.